Ah, well done, Winston. I see you managed to find him after all. Fortescue, pleased to meet you. I should imagine that you are a little nonplussed as to what exactly is going on, eh? Well, allow me to introduce myself. Professor Hamilton Kift, magician, inventor, and master of the occult at your service. If you're wondering what you're doing once again walking the earth, it appears that someone has got their hands on the legendary Zarok spellbook. Well, people like myself have been searching for that book for centuries. The power within its pages, ooh. <laughs> well, last year, certain pieces of the book turned up, and this is the result. Total chaos. First, we have to find the extent of the damage, don't we? I myself am imprisoned in this god-awful pit without any power. Top priority is to get this place into suitable shape to start waging a little guerrilla war. <laughs> has Winston told you about collecting magic? He has. Oh, good, good. Well, uh, off you go then. Select where you want to go on the projector over here. Also, uh, if you collect the chalice, I should be able to reward you with a new weapon. You can collect this off me here. Turn your back! Fantastic! Loads to tell you! I've analysed the watch you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. He tried to gain respectability by joining the magician's circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Not all bad news, though. This young... this lady is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been doing a little reading, and let me tell you, you might feel old, but she's positively ancient. No offence. Right, introduction's over. On with the show. Dan, I had almost given up hope. We still have a little time left to defeat Palethorn. If he gets the last pages of the spellbook, then... Um, I don't know. Never seen it before. It's a poster of one of my earliest experiments. The time machine doesn't work, though. Complete waste of time. I... No, we must focus on defeating Palethorn. I'm sorry about Kier, I really am, but it's too late to worry about her now. All right, all right, I... I been economical with the truth. I knew it was Palethorn all along. We used to be friends. That was before the expedition of 78. Ever wondered how I got these hands? Well, it's all in my diary over there. But the machine, it, it's still at the museum. It's probably smashed, though. Anyway, I never could get it to do anything other than move through space. Like I said, waste of time. Oh. Fortescue, you made it! Excellent! The energy you've collected has given us power of a sort. And that's not all you've brought back, I see. I don't normally approve of any old waif or stray, but when they're as pretty as this one, I think we could make exceptions. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Well, tell me, did you find anything useful on your journey? A what? A, a, a snake? A dog and a rocket? Oh, interesting. I'll analyze this and see if I can't debrief our friend over here. So, Dad, go and get some more zombie juice for my machines. Well, we won that round quite literally, didn't we? But we're not out of the woods just yet. In fact, at this very moment, I'm picking up two areas of extreme psychic disturbance. One in Whitechapel, the other... It's like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, it's a pity you can't be in two places at once, Dan. <laughs> Looks to be made of the same material as your shield. Interesting. Should afford you much greater protection. Right, the mission is simple. We have to find that page of the spellbook before Palethorn, or else all of London will be his, and we've lost. Well, if she's careful and comes back at the first sign of trouble... OK, Kier, you go to Whitechapel. Dan, you check out the other disturbance. Oh, you found her then. Good, good. <laughs> I knew she'd come to no harm. Uh, ooh, there's no time for this lovey-dovey stuff. Uh, things are looking grim. I'm uh, picking up a bizarre signal from... Uh, yes, Cathedral Spires. How did you know that? <laughs> come to think of it, where did you get that newfangled armour from? OK, I want a good, clean fight, and the first one to get a knockout is the winner. Any lost limbs can be collected between rounds. Shake, and let's fight. Well, did you find her? And? And? Oh, no! Oh, no! She's dead, and it, it's all my fault! I'll never be able to forgive myself! <sighs> anyway, uh, I'm picking up some bizarre signals from the cathedral. We must investigate. No, Dan, that's just what he wants. If we give up now, all of London will be his, and with London, the rest of the Empire will follow.
Dan, 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 not a moment too soon. Palethorn is launching an all-out attack. Keir says he's made some giant monster that will crush us all. Our only hope is to make our own, and using Keir's embalming knowledge, I think we can. In fact, I already have the head, but I need limbs. Limbs, Dan, I don't care what you've got to do to get them, we must get limbs. Now's no time to be squeamish, Fortescue. Just bring me the limbs one at a time, place them on the slab, and we'll build a monster of our own. Uh, Hello, Dan. Uh, you destroyed the Count. <laughs> uh, excellent. Excellent. Um, unfortunately, I'm afraid that we've lost all contact with Kia. Uh, she went to Whitechapel, and we haven't heard from her since. I know, I know, it's all my fault. If anything's happened to her, I'll never forgive myself, and I don't think you'll ever forgive me, will you? We should probably go after Palethorn, but why don't you go and see if you can find her? Hmm? Fortescue, well done, my friend. You thwarted Palethorn. Winston tells me about his fiendish scheme, and it's our first piece of good news. If he hasn't got all the pages of the spellbook, then he hasn't got full control of the undead. If we can get to them before he does, then we just might stand a chance of defeating him. Sorry, no time for chat. If you're ready, let's get this show on the road. Here we are. Oh! Hmm, we're doomed. Unless... Oh, dearie, dearie me, so close and yet so far. Oh, dearie, dearie me, this isn't very good at all, is it? This is the centre of the psychic disturbance. It's a new one to me. All I'm reading is a great, malevolent, slumbering evil. Extreme caution as always, Dan. Oh, and before you go, you might want to use your head on some of those hands over there. Stand over a hand and use your head to see what happens. The blunderbuss. It's a bit of a modern weapon. It hasn't got a lot of range, and because it needs two hands, you can't use a shield at the same time. Up close, though, bam! It'll do the business. From what I can work out, this is the epicentre of the blast. Look around, Fortescue, collect as much magic as possible, and see if you can work out who's behind this terrible state of affairs. Whilst you've been away, I've been fiddling with explosives. These bombs can be thrown or dropped. Experiment with both, but take great care or it will be you that gets blown apart. The freak show. It contains some weird specimens at the best of times. Heaven knows what's going on there now. Creep in round the back to avoid being spotted. We last heard from Kia here. See if you can find her. My scans show something powerful has been collecting magic energy, so watch your back, Greenwich. Winston's done some reconnaissance. He says he saw something weird going on at the observatory. If Palethorn's behind it, he must be stopped. I've done a little work on your sword. You should find this a whole lot better. It's enchanted. If it runs out, the spiv will be able to recharge it for you. Take this, the magic sword. Twice the size and twice as powerful as all your other close-range weapons. This will be the weapon of your dreams, Dan. The Gatling Gun. Awesome destructive power at the touch of a button. Winston has traced Palethorn. He's somewhere within Q. Who knows what you'll encounter when you're there? Well, you seem to know more about this place than I do, so there's no point in briefing you, is there? Try the Hammer of Thor. You're sure to have a smashing time. Cane stick, sir? No modern knight should be seen without one. Take this weapon. It's better than it looks, I can tell you. Look what I've made with all that vampire juice. <laughs> Lovely, isn't she? The crossbow. You haven't picked up your weapon yet. Oh, oof. there's no time to waste. Are you still here? Get going!